Hello, welcome to my channel. Renzo Castaneda here. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, hello, James. Hello, Jose, West, Stanley, Monique. Hello again, Shondari, Michael, Linda. Okay, Joyce. Okay. Okay, let's start. I'm, I'm gonna start just with uh, synthetic brushes. I have this, this is the brand, Aris brush. Okay, the colors are titanium white, yellow ochre, cadmium uh, red hue, permanent alizarin crimson, ultramarine blue, and ivory black. Uh, I'm gonna add maybe uh, yellow, cadmium yellow, or another blue. Okay, let's start with the drawing. I'm gonna mix black, little bit of white. Okay, let's block it. I'm gonna separate this. This is gonna be my area that I use as a palette. It's gonna be the head here. I'm squinting my eyes and the first thing I see everything i mean not just the head just with the hand like a big triangle here something like this okay i could make it maybe smaller bigger any size okay something like this and then here there is a small portion for the hand and here's gonna be the the head okay I'm squinting my eyes and, and trying to place everything here. I'm gonna look for some, let's say, some point, some something that I can just use uh, as a reference. I'm gonna use this eye. I see everything. I see everything here. Kind of, a, I can place the eye here, okay? And from here, I think it's kind of okay. I can start building the face around that around the eye, okay? Here and the hand, the hand here. Okay. Okay, now I have this eye, I can say that this, Maybe I want to move the eye a little bit down, or maybe. Right now, I feel that that's okay. You're gonna see the center line of the face, how tilted, this is really important, okay? If you can use a ruler, a brush, a pen, whatever, just do this. Okay, in order to make it this work, you gotta keep the, the image stick to your uh, canvas or whatever you, your surface. Don't move it. If you move it around the image, I mean, doing this is it's not going to have any purpose because the image is going to be moving. Okay, now for over here. Okay. From the eye to the hand, it's like a diagonal line, like this. I know the diagonal line here. Okay, now let's use simple uh, proportional rules on the face from the eyebrow to the nose. It's gonna be the same distance from the nose to the bottom of the chin, okay? Around there. Now I'm gonna use, let's say, the corner of the eye and the corner of the mouth. I don't have that, but anyway, I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna do this, like trying to see this. Okay. A little bit of hair here. The ear here. Okay, I'm gonna see some questions. James Adai, oh, you are going to join the pension class. Yes, yeah, $100 a month, yeah. 
uh, and we start this um, this Sunday at 11 a.m. Uh, hello, hello, Monica. Hello, Eve. Hello, Arlette. Hello, Lori. Okay. Hello, Terry. Anna. Okay, are you using mediums? If yes, why we have to use? No, I'm not using any medium. Maybe I, I will, but not right now. I mean, it depends if you, if you want to. Maybe if your paint is too uh, thick, too thick, you can use medium to make it more liquid. And sometimes the canvas just make us just make us just use medium because the oil paint is doesn't like it doesn't slide on the canvas. But right now you can feel I don't have even I, even I don't have too much paint, but I can make easily some mark, marks here. Okay. Now of course uh, in most of the faces. They say it's a, the bigger area is uh, all light. That's the first thing I'm going to try to copy. I'm mixing white, yellow ochre, and camion red. And you can use black or ultramarine blue. It's up to you. I use black because it's faster for me to grade down the color. You use white, it's the same. The idea is just to kill down this color to make it more uh, grayer. Okay. Now, at the same time that I am painting a light skin color or skin color for the lights and drawing at the same time okay i'm following this the shape of the light i'm paying attention if the nose is just tilted a little bit to the left to the right Right now, I can see the same shape. It's not perfect. It's not going to be perfect at the beginning. You know, this is going to be a long process of fixing, fixing, and fixing, and try and error. Okay. Oh, somebody's asking me. Hello. Is this lining? Oh, it's kind of, I mean, this cotton. I prepare myself my own canvas. I just buy cotton and I apply three layers of queso. I mean, sometimes uh, I used to buy some uh, a cotton that has some tooth. Uh, right now, because of the quarantine, the lockdowns, I went to buy cotton and I just couldn't find this. This is a really thin cotton and it doesn't have any tooth. It's almost a little bit more. I mean, one, la one more layer of gesso is going to be almost like a paper for, uh, no, like a car cardboard. I have the shape. Um, I'm squinting my eyes and I feel like I should be tilted 
all this shape a little bit more to the left. Mm, kind of, I feel that. But let, let me see, let's continue. Yeah, I'm just telling you what I think when I see something. I'm not fixing that. I'm just telling you. I see the shape. I see this. I squint my eyes. I just, for me, it's something flat, this. I do that. I feel that it's not right. I take note. I don't make any change yet. Now let's go with the hand. I'm trying to measure, visually measure from here to here and from here to any point. Do you hear that? <laughs> for new, for the new people here in my channel, you're gonna hear a lot of noises here. My neighbors, my dog, my cat, my new cat, an ambulance. Oh my God, this is full of noises. Okay, I'm trying to do the same. I squint in my eyes, trying to see the shape on the hand. Okay, now move here. Now I'm gonna mix another color for the shadows. It's gonna be the same. Yellow ochre, coming red. You can use a certain green zoom if you want. There's a variation, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna be something that uh, like a mistake, like like something like uh, uh, I'm gonna okay, I'm gonna use this one or this one. You can use any one. That's gonna be the same. I mean, here's where you try to get the color. You use this, just use, use this. It doesn't matter. Like uh, I mean, that's okay. That's okay. Taking my time, I'm just trying to get a really gray, let's say an orangey, dark, dark orangey, gray, gray, grayish color. Now let's go with the shadows now. Okay. Okay, let me see. Okay, I gotta go a little bit darker. Right now, I have seen the image. I have seen the image in my computer just for a minute. And I see that this is more darker. And I gotta go a little bit darker than what, what I see. Okay, because you know that I'm gonna apply more paint and more paint on top of that. And I just need to go a little bit darker in order to light up the color. All this is shadow. Uh, 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 watching the angle of the eyebrows. Shadow here. Right now, I just have two colors, okay? There's not nothing to be worried about, just two colors. That's why I keep squinting my eyes because I'm trying to reduce what I see here to just two values. You can use uh, Photoshop or any app just to reduce. There is, I have seen some, sometimes that you can reduce the image to just three, four va values. That's going to be okay for the beginning. Okay, I have this. You know, I see the shape of the light is like this and here is more tilted. Yeah. But that's okay. I, I, I just keep I'm keeping in mind that, but I feel okay because I feel the eye in relationship relationship 
to the mouth, it's okay, the nose and how the, the, the head is tilted, that's okay. Okay, from the eye to here to the bottom of the ear, that's okay, it's a diagonal. Yeah. Okay. This shadow here, you see, you can prolong it here from the bottom of the nose here and make it go here. Okay. That helps me with the drawing aspect of the painting. Now the hand. Okay, I see this little triangle here. I'm gonna try to copy that triangle. I mean, I'm trying. To, I'm gonna try to copy a negative space. Okay. Here's the nose. This triangle is around here. Okay. I prefer to do this instead of trying to to draw one finger, the not the other finger, the other finger. I prefer to copy this first. And from here, I can move to the other here finger, to here, and to here. Okay, I keep in watching this triangle here. I mean, nothing is along on, along on the painting. This triangle, I try to look and try to make it line up to the nose, to the right, to the mouth, up to the other eye. Anything like it was a, a net, a, a web. Now I'm gonna go back to this color and I'm gonna move this light a little bit to the left. I'm doing this because I wanna see if by doing this I fix uh, the whole shape, the, how tilted is this whole light shape I mean, how la this light shape is tilted. Okay, that's, that's, that's better. <laughs> Love having hands in a painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Pablo. Oh, hello, Steve. Hello, Dita. Okay. Oh, Shodari, also food sellers. Oh, oh, in the background, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, I live uh, downtown, but <laughs> I, like the last week, you could hear a cow. <laughs> it wasn't a real cow, okay? I mean, I'm gonna tell you. There's a guy who sells milk and he has this a megaphone i don't know what's the name this and then he go to the street making that sound like a cow like a cow and people know that that's him and now it wasn't like that here where i live now is full of people selling thing, things on the street fruit because nobody, nobody wanna go out. And then they are kind of trying to go to the, the uh, to, to the houses and and sell. It, yeah? Okay, let's continue. Now what's happening here? You know that I mean I'm basically mixing these two colors here on the canvas to create a third uh, color value tone. Okay, now 
let's go about again with this. This first stage is like drawing because you, I don't have, I just have, let's say, one pencil is another pencil. One is, let's say, one is black and one is, the other one is white. And I'm drawing on a toned paper. You could, you could think about this like that. I'm just going to soft this because I need to compare. Here I see. I, I can tell that this eye is too big. Okay, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, you're just stepping back, squinting my eyes, trying to see the. Okay, okay, that's okay. Now, I'm gonna mix a layer of value from this color, just by adding white. So right now, I'm not thinking, not thinking that much about color, just two colors, I'm creating a new color. It's more like just a new value, just adding white. I'm not thinking about adding more chroma to this color, adding more saturation to make it warmer or make it cooler. I'm just adding white, okay? Now, I'm gonna see the image in my computer because I don't need this much better than this one. <laughs> and I'm gonna follow the lights, just more, I mean the, let's say, it's gonna be a light here. More white. Here, here, okay. Okay, and I'm squinting my eyes and trying to see. Like I was doing with the shadows, shadow, shadow. Yes, I mean, I know that the, the mouth, when you're saying a shadow, because that's what I'm thinking about. It's just a shape, a dark shape, but yes. And then I'm doing the same with the lights. Light, 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 light. Light, now the fingers. And you continue light here, here. Okay, from here to here. Okay, don't think about just making this amazing uh, finger just perfect. I mean, it's everything. We gotta get everything. That's why I always, I see this and I see that, I see this. And I'm trying to put all the pieces together. Like a person, I mean. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. 
no, no, I will go here, a little bit of red, white. Okay, uh, West 501 is asking me when you start to paint portrait, do you use the grid system to learn? Uh, no, when I started to learn paint portrait, and I was just by eye because I studied in the School of Arts, and the School of Arts, I mean, we don't use, we didn't use the grid. And that was just when somebody just when you you, you get a commission, you want to make it faster. Yeah, you can. Your teacher is gonna tell you, okay, use a grid, use a projector, whatever you want, or trace. But usually, it was just about visual measurement. Okay, take your pencil and do doing this to compare from here to here. Oh, it was about all of. This is the, the tool that we have to measure all the paintings. And it was a lot of a lot of practice because at my and, and right now it's, it's not the same. It has, uh, the school of arts has changed a lot over the years. In my time, I used to draw three hours daily and paint five hours daily. It was a lot, I mean. A lot of training. I mean, right now it's not like that. Right now, the last time that I heard about about my school of arts, it was like a just two hours. I mean, four hours uh, drawing the, per week, two classes, and three three hours each class of painting per week. Three classes. Sorry, I mean two classes per week painting and two classes of drawing per week. That's it. But right now, I mean, I don't know what is going to happen with the school, of, the school of arts. But uh, they were looking for um, more creative artists. Yeah. They were leaving behind a little bit yes, this thing about the academy or, or the academy. We say we say academy when they say about. Uh, drawing following this uh, classic, classical classical style and practice grisai and practice all, all of these uh, techniques, these old techniques. Okay, I'm going to blend a little bit just to make it softer and can, and I can compare better. Right now, at uh, the beginning, you see I place this light, 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 light. Uh, this is just the beginning, yes? I mean, you gotta pay attention that this light, it shouldn't be the same. There is always one brighter than the other. But the beginning is just, uh, just trying to make it simple and use the same color for everywhere. There's not much variation. It's like I, like I said, it's like drawing. I'm blending for blending and using this brush. This is the same brand, Aris brush. This is a liner one. This one is new. It's really pointy. Now that it's ruined, I use that for blending. You know, somebody asked me about the brushes and to be honest i couldn't find the link in amazon 
because you know that I have some affiliate links in my my videos, the description box. I couldn't find this brand. So then you know if you find this in everywhere else. Yeah. I mean, obviously, what I want is you to buy in my affiliate links, yeah, because I, that way I make money. I make lots of money. No, I don't make anything. I sold your cent. But anyway, I mean, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. That's passive income. So anyway, I was looking for the, the link to these brushes and I couldn't find it. And it's not about the brushes. I mean, I used to, uh, a few months or a few years ago, I used to use these ones all the time. I was using just these ones. The, the brand is Mary's, Ma Mary's from China. I was painting with these ones everything, everything. Now we're using these ones and, and this artist brush. Banjo, it says Banjo, Banjo. It's like all of them are the same. It's like they have the same hair, synthetic hair. Just with have different <laughs> handle. That's it. Yes, yes, please. Somebody says it's, if I put the links. Yes, there is links. On, I didn't put in this video. Oh, sometimes I forgot. But if you see any link, if you want to buy, let's say, uh, if you want to buy, uh, I don't know, a computer, you go to my links, the brushes, or the, and then from there, when you get inside uh, Amazon, you go and buy your computer. I gotta get a commission anyway because I'm just kind of you get into Amazon through my link. It doesn't matter who links it is. Okay, I'm just kidding. I mean, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm joking. Okay, don't do that. You just if you wanna. <laughs> okay, now I have this. It's more easy to compare. I can, I mean, I can say that it's a face. I, 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 that right now, it's too difficult to say that the likeness is okay. It's just like a, having a mannequin. From here, is just start building more and more, trying to be more accurate about about mid tones, lights, and shadows, and always keeping in mind the proportions, and start to making uh, some variations, color variations. Okay because we don't want a painting just like with one color. The first thing I'm going to do is add a little bit of red. Here it's kind of a pinky color. Okay, now obviously let's go not let's going to make the most obvious thing in a portrait. Let's add the reddish part of the face, the nose. Okay, the cheeks the upper and lower eyelid. I mean, I gotta go back here with a darker color and the chin, okay? Obviously the ear. And here, uh, what's the name of this? The knuckles, huh? Here, here. I gotta go back here uh, with a, a mixing a co mixing more colors and doing this and just making these marks 
for you to understand where it's going to be those colors. You can add even some reddish here. This color could be everywhere, but are going to be more noticeable just here in the nose, the cheek, the chin. Okay. Now let's blend a little bit. And now I can start working with more colors. I can start adjusting everything. From here, it's going to be a process of adjusting. I'm going to play some, I'm going to lay down some colors. I'm going to maybe erase them. I'm going to just make them more darker or or brighter or uh, knock down the value or the, the saturation. I want to play with all of that saturation, uh, temperature. Okay. Uh, before that, one thing I, ha I have to do, if I need, need more paint, and I need to make this a little bit lighter. And then let me see the image because okay. Okay. I cannot apply more thick paint with this brush. I, I want, I always want a little bit more of paint here on the lights. Right now, I can say that I'm making. I could. I could say that I'm making. I'm making a correction, a value correction. Um, this is not going to be the final color. I'm going to add on top of that more colors. Okay, I'm squinting my eyes. Because every time that I go like this, working on va value, I got to compare it with uh, the image because I'm the same time I apply this, I'm drawing at the same time, okay? I'm trying to imitate the, the, the shape of that light, of the, all this light, light area.
I clean up the brush again and we go back to blend. I'm gonna keep more paint here, not here. Okay. Do the same here on the fingers, just a little bit. Here, just a little bit, because I gotta go back on the fingers with green. I just want, I just, I'm just correcting value. Now this go to work on the eyes. I need to zoom in here. I'm going to use this liner brushes. I mean, for making to make this and just watching the image in my computer, my screen, which is really big, big, big. You know, let's work a little bit of the color of the eyes. And since uh, I started with uh, trying to get the values right, I mean, where is light, light, where is shadow, shadow. I can change the color without changing the value.
I can just medium here, a little bit, just to spread the paint. Let me see if I keep this. I'm not, I don't want to use too much paint because I'm not so sure. Maybe I can just go with a lighter color, not here light. Maybe, maybe. Hmm. That's something that I'm gonna leave for the for later. Later on. Okay. Let's continue working on this side. I mean, there's not too much to do here because. We don't see that much. If you just go to the nose. orange yeah. okay now the lips I used to work always like this. I go on the eye, the nose, the mouth, and then I go up again, and again, and again. I don't stay too much in just one, uh, in any part of the face. But try to keep an order, just like that. Eyes, nose, and mouth. And for me, it's kind of a take a rest when I work on the nose. I mean, I don't see the eyes. When I work on the mouth, I don't see the nose and, and the eyes. I mean, that's if it's just for a few, uh, maybe for a minute, a minute, because it's kind of difficult, of course, to not to see the whole face. I, I got to see the whole face all the time because I'm working just all together at once. Squinting my eyes. If I make this brush stroke, I'm trying to see here. Always, okay? I'm trying to create anything that is going to help me with the form. I mean, anything, anything. You gotta, I don't know. Out, out of nowhere, I'm trying to see something like here, the knuckle here. It's going to be a shadow here. And I use this, let's say, to trace a, a line up to the nose. 
and here to the mug. Okay. It's not like I keep uh, always doing this all the time, but I mean, from time to time, uh, I stop and I start doing this and tracing lines here and there, here and there, because that's my way I have to not lose uh, the drawing. The drawing aspect, I mean, the position of the eye, the nose, and the mouth. Just by doing that, I keep them, in, trying to keep them in, the, in, in, in some position that is going to be for any face, I mean, for any face, eyes, nose, and mouth. It's, it's not about just her face or, or I just go uh, work with, uh, let's say, I didn't, how can you say, it's like thinking it was a mannequin, okay? When I adjust it more and more and more, I just, is when I'm starting to get the likeness, okay? And every time that you adjust more of the values, you, you get more the likeness. At some point that we're not able to see anymore and and we feel that we cannot correct anything more. And that's it. That's the end of the painting. That doesn't mean that the painting is going to be okay or not. That means that for us is all we can see and correct. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of le lemon yellow. And a little bit of, just a little bit, cerulean blue. Let me see the image a little bit. I'm stepping back and trying to see both here in my computer. I use the, the photos, I mean the YouTube screen. Yes, I uh, step back and even because I mean the, 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 the YouTube screen in my computer is smaller, I can just kind of, uh, it's like a kind of a stepping back. Mix a little bit of this green. I'm mixing this green with this a little bit of this color because I'm just playing down with this color.
make uh, make I'm gonna make more uh, saturated this green for the fingers. When the fingers you gotta play uh you gotta apply apply uh green and uh, some reddish pinky color or orangey color let's say I apply green there and then I'm gonna apply this here I'm exaggerating a little bit okay you can blend it, you can make it really soft, you can make it more noticeable, it's up to you. Uh, it's, uh, it's not about just this, I mean, we gotta adjust the value, make it darker, make it lighter. Okay, if you wanna know how to adjust this, how to play with the colors, make it then lighter, make it then darker, but keeping the harmony. Then you gotta go to my Patreon account. Hello, Rafael. Okay, making this lighter. Little by little, you need to adjust this, make it more, maybe more yellow.
Okay, keeping the values, you can change the color, but without changing the value. Okay, I'm changing the color here. You see, uh, it's different because at the beginning everything was like uh, one color. Now you can add, add in green and add in red, and a little bit of this yellow ochre with white. It makes uh, the light more warmer. And the point uh, I think is it's about controlling this. I mean, you can go with a lot of yellow here. If you want to, if you want to enhance all those colors, you enhance all those colors. You just be careful with values, okay? But I mean, for me, is is about to control this. You know, I'm going to add more and more colors, more and more colors. I mean, it's going to be a three-hour session. It's been, I've been working for an hour. I have plenty of time to add more layers and more layers of colors until until I see some of these colors, but not that strong. You can see them just uh, just along, let's say, red, ochre, green. Yes, red, green, ochre. Some gray colors there. Thank <laughs> you. 
I, I need, I think I, no, I'm going to go really dark with the background. Yes, I think I'll do that. You can we can change to uh, to a, a pinky color is the skin color is the way. Uh, to be honest, in the image I have it's kind of I don't see. Let's say you cannot pink here. Even you can make it brighter. I mean more saturated. Okay, I'm gonna go back with a little bit bit of yellow. And what I'm trying to, to show you is uh, that once you establish the difference between light and shadows, you can change the colors on the lights and the shadows, but don't change the value, okay? You cannot, uh, like uh, here, you can add yellow by adding more ochre to the mixture or more red, and you change that. That's changing almost, I mean, the skin color more to a uh, pinky color, to a uh, yellowish color. I mean, you, we have to just adjust the color we, ha we have here. We can saturate more. I mean, it's up, it's up to us, just whatever we want to do. For example, here I want to just go with more of an orangey color.
Now here you want to choose if you go with a warmer highlight or a cooler highlight. Yes, you have you have seen seen me doing that in different portraits. Yes, I mean you. I have done this in different portraits. I make it. I make made it work. Adding a cool highlight or a warm highlight. Okay. Yeah, now it's up to you just to choose. Let's see, this is going to be a really cool highlight. Okay, both lights work. Okay, it's up to you what to do. Okay, uh, this thing about color theory, you need to practice about that. I mean, to be honest, it's like, um, it doesn't matter if you see me doing this 100 times, uh, you gotta do it and you gotta control it because it's, it's not about kind of, let's say theory is kind of easy to explain, but when you do that is when you are controlling this on your palette is when the, because the problems start. And when you, when you have, uh, you have to deal with this and the pain. And no, no, I mean, it doesn't work always. For me, it was the same when I was a student watching my, my teacher, any teacher making this work about color temperature. Not always, eh? not, not always, but.
Okay, right now I'm just thinking about the likeness because I was thinking about color, I was adjusting values. Now this this thing about making these changes in here here and there wanna be about the likeness. That means that I'm not thinking anymore and I mean, and I, I gotta think about everything. We have to think about everything. Yes, color theory and proportions, all of that. This, it's not gonna be like that. I just wanna follow what I what I did, the colors that I I I, I already put. Yes, uh, right now it's gonna be about just copying the image. Try to be accurate as much as possible. And I'm gonna follow the same thing. I'm gonna work on the eyes and then I'm gonna move to the to the nose and then the mouth and then the chin, okay?
I gotta go back over this again and again because I'm making a shadow, I'm blending, and when we blend, uh, we soften all this. And usually I gotta go back again and blend again until I uh, until I I, I find uh, I feel that that's that's okay. I mean the darkness, the shadow, that's it's okay. I see a mistake right now on uh, how tilted this design. It should be more tilted like this.
mixing this and clean some a little bit of black. And add a little bit of cambium bread to this mixture. Try to copy these shadows here. These little things that does about hair, not just hair, just her face. I've been painting uh, West. Uh, West is asking me how many years I'm painting. I'm painting, my God, maybe 30 years. That's too much, eh? The amazing thing about painting is I've been painting portraits for years, for years, and I'm not bored yet of painting portraits. I could paint portraits here daily for the next 20 years. 
I mean, not commission, yes, I mean, but just uh, find an image that I like and just paint it. That would be so boring for a, a YouTube channel, yeah? 20 years of the same. <laughs> And every time is a challenge. Every time is always uh, have to deal with everything. Lightness. I mean, lightness is uh, uh, it's like uh, sometimes I just love to paint without the uh, the photo reference because I want to paint relaxed. I want to paint it just uh, without thinking that. Uh, on the likeness, uh, just thinking about proportion, just thinking that to have a nice portrait, and that's it. And sometimes when I paint with the image, just like right now, it's different. It's obviously always the pressure to get the likeness. It's something that is just kept us just, I gotta say, kind of stress, worry. But that's okay. I mean, that's, that's that's okay. That's what I love about this. I'm trying to be being careful with this. I, I want to get the likeness, and likeness is about all of these things. But at the same time, I don't want to to make her older because I used to do that. I used to make people older. It's because I want to, I want to get the likeness. I want to be working on that. And I want to capture every detail here and there. And details, I mean, sometimes the problem with details, with little things is uh, we tend to exaggerate those things, those little things. I mean, and that's something that we should control. Yes, it's just here, this shadow here. I'm pretty sure it should be a little bit lighter. And then I put it, I put it lighter and then I say, oh my God, no. Kind of I lost her. I gotta make it a little darker. And that's something like that, back and forth, back and forth all the time.
Okay, I'm working on the lightness, but every time that I go over here or change uh, over there, I keep the color. I keep a little bit reddish, a little bit warmer, that part. I'm, going, I'm trying to keep a balance between color and value because I'm just doing that, making this darker. Uh, you have to see, it's more kind of reddish here. It's more, the color is more grayer here. You could, you could say more greenish. That's something that you, you have to adjust all the time. More shadow here, maybe. Okay, and here there is a slide just shadow. Okay. Yeah. I have more information here. I can compare better. Okay. I have this image and I have a bigger image to bigger image to my left. Yes, you cannot paint from an image that small, okay? So that's, I mean, that's, that's just, an, that would be a huge obstacle for me painting from an image that, that, that is small. I got a bigger image to my left and I got a, even a bigger image in the computer. Okay, Okay, now let's work here. Okay, Linda Lu, I've seen the top lip plane has a horizontal line without the fold from the nose, okay? I'm gonna take that into consideration. I think at this time in the painting, she's older. <laughs> she's getting older, yeah? <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, that's my mistake. I mean, you know, trying to look for details, details. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm gonna make it younger now. Lightness exactly? No, that's kind of impossible to to get the lightness exactly. Yeah. It's just, I mean, trying to see, look, what I'm trying to do is if somebody see the painting without comparing with the image and I say, oh, that's, that's her. I mean, but we all want to get the lightness like 100%, I mean. Nobody's gonna say, no, I don't care. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if somebody wanna say that I don't care. But for me, uh, I care always. I care a lot about the likeness. But I mean, I'm old, I've been painting a lot. I'm not, I know, know my own limits, okay? I know what can I do if I paint uh, if I spend 20 hours in a painting or if I spend three, four hours in a painting, that's okay. But we all, 
I mean, I think, yes, I think we all want the same. Okay. I'm going to soft some of the things that make hair older.
Okay, I'm softening everything, trying to make her look a little bit younger. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, hello. Okay, okay. The lips make her old. Okay, I'm gonna see. Okay, go off soon. Sorry, but the eyes and nose are totally off. Oh my God, you're telling me that the portrait is just, is the eyes <laughs> and the nose is totally off. That means that the portrait is, I mean, I'm painting another person. <laughs> No dark sclera here it was too light. That's that's a good one. The eyes and the nose are totally off. <laughs> wow, that means that who are you painting? It's like it's somebody telling me, why do you have the image here there? I don't know. I just put it there just to I don't know, without any reason. But I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna check. I mean, I'm checking everything. I'm not checking everything. I um, mean, all the time. Okay, and don't worry. I'm gonna finish it just perfectly. If it's not perfect at the end, I'm gonna give you the money. Your money back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But no, definitely, uh, I, I mean, uh, I keep, I'm joking because, I mean, what, what else can I do? But I mean, I always, I, I take, I always listen to each critique, all of them. Yes. I mean, that's okay. That's okay. Because, I mean, uh, <clears throat> that's the idea. Sometimes uh, we don't see more. I don't, sometimes I don't see more. I'm not able to see more. And somebody tell me, okay, this is wrong. You say, oh, my God. That's right, and that's just what I needed. I'm just joking, guys. I'm joking. I'm, jo I'm, I'm making jokes because I don't want to cry. <laughs> okay, let's continue. I'm trying to work right now. As soon as I stop working on the likeness, I'm gonna go back with color, and then I'm gonna go back with the likeness. That's, that's, this is the problem about likeness uh, that maybe, uh, that it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of the process. When you, you get into the likeness, and you, you're not getting the likeness, that's, that's a, a real problem. Because you start just, Going around that, we forget about values, forget about color, forget about everything.
que hagan step back. Step back. And, ok. Ok, les continúo. I'm having a problem here with the eye. It's kind of an out. Uh, it should look down. But maybe I should. Maybe I should move the eyelid a little bit. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Mm, that's not working. <laughs> Work in progress. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's continue working on values. I'm going to make this a little bit darker. I'm being careful with this because I'm pretty sure this is going to make her look older, but she has this shadow. I, I have to make this shadow in order to 
to get closer to the likeness. But anyway, I mean, I, I will try to control, to soften him, to see what, what to do. Hello, Crisalida. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Okay, let's work on the on the hair. Thank you. 
<laughs> Mario Renudo. Thank you, Mario. <laughs> okay. I was key. That was key. I mean, I mean, the critics are always okay. I mean, don't worry about critics. I mean, what can I tell you? When I was a student, I mean, wow, that's maybe that's the worst time. We are young and our teachers are really cruel. <laughs> Sometimes they critique us just in front of everyone. And uh, that's okay, that's okay. I'm stepping back because I'm trying to check out. You know, I'm trying, what I'm trying to control is uh, all these uh, marks here, like here, the, the uh, uh, eye bags. Uh, she has some eye bags, yes. And, but the problem is to make them softer. I mean, this just that's the problem, to make them softer enough, I mean, I gotta see them, but if they are too just too visible, it's gonna change uh, her age. I think that's the challenge about this portrait. Okay, I'm living. I mean, I've been working here around here a lot. I'm gonna work on the mouth and then the hand. I think this portrait is gonna take me more time, more than three hours, because I I wasn't counting on the hand. The hand is always start to take more time. And little by little, just changing values here, making this a little bit lighter. Okay, I'm gonna work on the hand.
I'm using this kind of dark red to make his, this dark here in between the, uh, the, the fingers. Okay, I'm gonna see this shot. Oh. <laughs> Hero painting. Thank you, Mervat. <laughs> uh, the shadow between the middle finger and upper lip quite deep. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Thank you, sorry, Nick. Okay, let's continue. Let's work here because I think I'm going to show it there, that or I'm going to move it. Show up.
a reflection. This this is a reflection. Yes, it's a reflection. Yeah? I haven't noticed that. Maybe I add it around on the table not here. Okay. Now I'm gonna blend this. Maybe this is too dark. Let's see. I mean, I, I gotta continue because I, I think I add the color sometimes. I see, I check out, I see that maybe it's, the color is not working. Okay. I'm gonna make change. That's the, I mean, when you paint a la prima, that's something like that happen all the time. We uh, usually I have, uh, I try to plan ahead. But most of the time, we gotta change our plans because the painting is kind of take us what the painting wants, what the painting needs. Sometimes it needs more color, sometimes sometimes just needs more contrast. Let's see, let's see. Uh, right now I'm making the hair and comparing again, trying to see the whole image. And I see something here, know, maybe a little bit of shadow here. I'm gonna make this shape look more like this shape. I mean, this is not gonna fix the portrait, just making this little change on the hair values. But I mean, 
little just these little steps uh, help me to let's say uh, at some point that I I cannot find or too much differences, and then this is when I feel that the portrait is okay. I mean, I'm saying that no, I'm not saying that the portrait is okay. I'm saying what I feel that the portrait is okay. That's different, okay. <laughs> And sometimes uh, I, I feel that, that the portrait is not okay, but I don't know what else to what else to do. I don't know what what to add, what to take out. I don't know. I mean, that's that the feelings is always it's always part of the process. We're not so sure we are. I mean, for me, is I'm perfect if I get the seventy percent or eighty percent. That would be the man, a lot. Uh, about, I'm speaking about the likeness. Yes. Uh, but if I get close without, I mean, if you look at hair, look at the hair, you say, okay, that's hair. I mean, it's not like a photograph of that's hair. And that's okay. That, that is for any portrait. I mean, that's the same for any portrait. Let me see something here. I see a, a shadow here. I see on her face these uh, lines here. It's too visible. That's that's where I have to be careful. Here, see, two things that I see just so clear on her face: this shadow, this darkness. Okay, that it goes like this. Okay, in this darkness. That's the problem because those parts just that's what make her look older. But at the same time, that's the, the that's what make uh, her appear, appearance. I mean, that's that's the way she is. I mean, she has those those uh, those things. Yes. I gotta go back and forth with this. Now the eyes. Gotta go back to the eyes. Okay, uh, Jose Batute. I mean, it's too dark between the middle finger and the lining of nose to upper lips. Here, it's too dark. Okay, I'm gonna check out that. Omer Telling me that I choose 
difficult reference for us most of the time. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you, Joyce. The share between the middle finger and upper lip. Okay, okay. I'm just looking for more critiques to see. One of the critiques may be, it's gonna give me some light. I'm making this shadow a little bit up in here too. This portion a little bit up. Something here, is something here I found, something here.
que deep planning going up no okay the head is green the hand looks green okay oh okay thank you fernando Oh, likeness. Oh, likeness is when just the painting and the and the model looks alike. You, you see that this kind of uh, a copy. Okay, Monique, hair crossing on forehead. Okay, hair crossing on forehead around here. It looks a bit too much. Okay, okay. Too symmetrical. Okay, take a day just to paint the hands. Okay. I think he's just starting the hair. Okay, bending like a pro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just going to look for critiques, okay? I'm looking for critiques. Lips, finger, the line. Okay, I, I write that one. Okay, let, let's see. The hair. Okay, here. Okay, I, I, I'm going to work on the part. I'm going to work on the shadows of the hair. Okay. In order to to make a better correction, okay, this work here. So I have shadow, shadow. Okay, now I'm going to blend this to make it more softer and to see if that works. And using a little bit of medium just to go faster with this. Do not blue, you know that I love blue.
Oh, look how she's becoming older. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, it's so cute. So difficult to keep. Uh, yes, I mean, that's something that I gotta control because I, I just love to go uh, more little things, little things. It does, I start losing control. Thank you, Dita. You can add a lot of red to the ears. Okay, I got distracted with here. I, I gotta finish this. was missing this yellow. This is the best yellow in the world. I'm gonna take the image out just a little bit. Okay, the light source at the tip of the nose needed. Okay, I'm gonna check out that. Thank you, Nico. No, too much, too much black. Still looks amazing, thank you. Oh, you mean this black? Oh, it's too much contrast. Let me add this here. Okay. The reflected light source. Oh. The tip of the nose. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, uh, this little thing that she has something in there. Yeah, 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 I know. I know what you mean. Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay.
to get uh, a think the black arts drama. Heavy thinking, I like it. She looks 30 years old. Oh my god. It also looks 50. I look 50 years old. <laughs> oh, 50. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta check out this because she has this kind of reflected light, but I don't wanna look like a mistake. They're gonna look natural. I'm going to work with the ear because the ear is just terrible. I, I paint this shadow with, uh, let's say, dark red. Uh, I don't go with, uh, let's say, an, um, an, a brown or... The idea is to have this shadow kind of transparent and reddish. I'm not gonna be able to make a lot of details to the ear, just a little bit. You know that you can spend a lot of time painting ears. The colors here on the ears are, 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 are just amazing and I would like to have a nice paint, painting, spend a lot of time, but a lot of time here on the ears, it means less time on the face, less, and I need uh, still, I, I, I see so many things, I need to add more light to the face yet. Because you see here, this is still flat. I need a highlight here, a highlight here. And I'm just planning to do that. And I think I'm gonna go, uh, because I already added just uh, blue and white to the lights. Uh, a little bit, you can see a little bit of this cool light. I can add on top of that a really warm light. Okay, you know that we can add both. Uh, there is no need just to have just one. If when you consider temperature, it's not just about making a huge difference between cool and warm. We can combine both of them.
her forehead, Joyce, her forehead shadow should line up with her knuckle, on her middle fin finger. Okay, okay. Okay, you're right. Yes. Okay, 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 I will check out that and that. Reflected light from the middle finger under the nose. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, wow, that's okay, Jose. You're looking at really, okay, okay, that's good. Okay. Okay. Uh, when I was, <laughs> I got distracted. Oh, I was working on the ear. That's what I don't like to work on the ears because we spend a lot of time here. Okay. Anyway, every time that I have the opportunity, I just cover the ears with hair. I'm speaking about painting a la prima, okay, because I need the time. But when I paint, of course, in so many sessions, I mean, that's okay. Painting ears is amazing because you have a lot of color here. It's a nice practice, painting ears. Okay, and you say that because in, in this situation now that I, I gotta, I gotta uh, put more time on the eyes, the nose, If you make exercises pain, painting ears, uh, for me, it's amazing when uh, we do a lot of glazes on ears because trying to get the transparency of the skin. Okay, it doesn't look okay, but I think it works for this painting. Okay, let's add some highlights. Let's see if with the highlights can fix. Uh, Any part of the face. Because you see the image, uh, I mean, I, there is a, a link to the image, okay? In the description box. If you see the image there, you're gonna see that she, she has, I mean, the highlights are so clear on her, uh, her face. Different, the, uh, you, you cannot see th that here. Uh, one another thing I, mean, I was working, I was thinking about the Okay, let's see, let's add uh, white and camion yellow. This 
highlight the A little bit, just a little bit. See the image of my computer. There's a little bit here, light. Okay, what time is it? It's almost three hours. Yes, my son is coming, asking for food. It's lunch time. Uh -huh. See? Sí. Yeah. Sí, esta mi billetera. La ves? Saca la, saca la tarjeta. Ahí está. Ah, ya. Yeah. Okay, let's blend, let's blend everything a little bit. Okay, let's blend, blend here. Not a match here because I wanna keep this highlight. Okay, let's look for blending everywhere. I mean, look for the edges always, okay. Okay.
Mm, okay, okay, okay. What is, what is? Always checking. I mean, the last thing that I check always, uh, no, it's not going to be the last thing because I'm going to spend more time, but is uh, the, the edges, okay? Soft all the edges around. I mean, but right now you can see the hair, this. I love this, okay? I, I think I'm going to keep this. It creates kind of something, uh, but that's okay. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't bother here. Uh, here, uh, something sharp here, yes, it could be a problem. Okay, something sharp here, it could be a problem, okay? And that, not going to seem like a problem, a problem. If you can control that, that's okay. Everything is about control. Just trying to control edges, trying to control color, trying to control all of that. I mean, at the, at, right now, at, I am at the point that I'm just... It's like uh, starting to know to don't know what to do. That means that I'm really close to the end. Yes, and at this moment, I usually I go around the painting, just doing anything that maybe it's not it doesn't have any. It's meaningful. It's meaningless. It's uh, what's the word? I mean, it doesn't have any meaning. And just go around, just trying to. I spend maybe I'm gonna spend maybe ten minutes trying to look for some mistakes. If I go around, just going there, doing this, adjusting here and there a little bit of shadows, doing things that uh, I know, like like here, and, like here, it should be darker. This portion of the uh, of the eyebrow, okay, something that I know. It should be darker around here. Something that I know. Uh, I'm just I'm choosing just to leave this eye like this because I don't wanna have problems <laughs> with this eye. It's like uh, so difficult to work on this uh, area. They prefer just to leave just just like an insinuation that something is there. Okay. Okay. I try to add this kind of light, but it doesn't work. I mean, it kind of uh, changed the way that she's looking. <clears throat> right now, I'm gonna go <clears throat> around, around, and around, correcting. Let's say here in the, the nostril, it's too dark. I'm gonna go a little bit reddish. I mean, these corrections, it doesn't matter. It does, it, it's not about what, what I see, okay? It's not about what I see, this, this kind of correction. It's about what is gonna look better for the painting. And it's gonna look better for me. I mean, that's my thinking. If I go a little bit lighter on the nostril, because that creates transparency in the nose. Okay. Oh, I remember somebody told me about the reflected light from the finger to the nose. Okay, I don't see any reflected light, <laughs> like, a, like a reflected, reflected light. What I see is a cast, a cast shadow on the finger. I'm gonna do this cast shadow. Okay. Right now, about speaking about the likeness, uh, I mean, that's my limit, my limit right now. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to correct, I, I, know, I, I know that I'm not gonna be able to, to find any major mistake here and to correct it, and to correct it, okay? I know that, I, I know that, and I know that I'm looking around, I'm gonna find maybe some part that is gonna need, need to be lighter or need to be darker. And if I'm lucky enough, I'm lucky enough, I'm gonna find maybe a major, major mistake if that is gonna mean 
uh, let's say something that's gonna fix the painting right away, maybe. I mean, I'm seeing that because I've been painting at the Prima for a long time. It kind of, I know my limitations. But anyway, I mean, this portion is like when I just say goodbye, I gotta go, and then I stay a little bit because just when I say that, I start, I just looking, looking around, looking for little things, okay? I mean, it doesn't mean anything for the painting doing this. It just, I'm buying time just to hope to like, out of nowhere, see something wrong with the painting. Okay. Okay, I'm going to bed. Oh, thank you. Okay, Dita. <laughs> oh, it's too late there, yeah? Okay. Okay, Jose, you're concerned about being between middle finger shadow and the lighting of the lips. Okay. 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 But I'm not planning to make another, another session on the painting. I mean, I, I, I just, for me, it's just, what it is, I mean, a La Prima session is something that you you can correct it if you want it. But, I mean, usually a La Prima is something that we do and, and that's it. I mean, it kind of uh, gotta stay just like that. I mean, I remember when like three times, four times I have painted a La Prima, real with a model. I mean, it wasn't a model, it was like a once, I went, we went to an institution and it was like a, the president of this institution. It was like a demo and everybody says, okay, paint him. You say, okay, you say, okay. And then I started to paint him just for a, 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 a couple of hours. The, the portrait was kind of okay. It wasn't perfect, yes. It was kind of, at the end, I saw something and it was just everything finished. And when the painting was there, I saw, oh my God, I want to correct something just right now. And the painting it wasn't, I mean, I, I didn't took the painting with me. The painting just stayed there in this institution. And I, uh, I mean, I wasn't able to correct it. Okay, I have chosen to do this uh, hair, hair kind of pale blonde hair. I don't know if, if I'm wrong, maybe her hair is more yellowish. I don't know, I mean, I have chosen that. I gotta leave with that if I make a mistake. I mean, the problem uh, is like is, uh, I uh, I didn't find the time to look for Im for images. It's okay if you look for for more images about the person to see the is the color of the eyes, the the hair, everything. But you know that uh, some days I make a live stream in the morning in my drawing channel, and then I finish and I start this this here in my this painting channel and today was that day i just finished my drawing channel and right away i just after like 30 minutes i started this live stream and maybe maybe not so sure i'm gonna make a lot of, another live stream for my spanish channel i was planning to do that but you know we plan we fail to plan
want to spend a little bit of time on the hand. A little bit of right here. I didn't promote my Patreon account. I forgot about that. If somebody has uh, interest in painting alone, because I'm gonna start just some paint alone sessions where we paint together, just 10 people, up to 10 people every Sunday. You can check out the description box. It's uh, for uh, it's, it's a mo monthly thing. It's a monthly classes, four classes each one. Yes. Sundays from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., four hours. In each class, we're going to finish one painting. We're going to paint together for four hours. Looks like she's biting her own finger. Okay, I think uh, I have still 50 minutes. Thank you, Joyce. Thank you, Maggie. Thank you, Jose. Thank you, Michael, Monique. Yeah, I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna capture the screen. I'm gonna check out in Photoshop. I'm gonna take out the color, the color out. I'm going to reverse the image. I'm gonna see what is wrong. Yes, I have a drawing channel. Lately, I'm drawing with ink. The name is. Uh, oh no, I'm not gonna be able to pronounce it. Okay, uh, C C. Uh, okay, I'm gonna write this, okay? That's, that's my... Tilda Islington. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna try to look for her.
It's going to be the last touches to the painting. Okay, Elizabeth Taylor. Oh, wow. Oh, I was thinking to paint. I was watching just today. I was looking for the image. I saw some black and white, white images of some, some actors from, but from, I don't know, when I was a kid, I mean, and just, I saw those images and I, I, I just, that's amazing. I mean, the feeling that you feel, the, 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 the feeling about, I mean, I just wanted to, Take a uh, paint one of those images. I hope to. I I, I I I gotta see if I can find nice images to paint them. Like just like you said, Elizabeth Taylor and I don't remember the names, but uh, I saw a photo of uh, John Travolta in the movie Greece. And it's just, I mean, that's, that's just, it's just because of the feeling. I mean, uh, uh, that wake uh, woke, woke up on me when I saw that, that's old images. But I mean, not, not all of them are okay for painting because I mean, I gotta look for something. I mean, and the light, light, and this is more like a professional photo, yeah? It's, which is different. Yeah, and this, okay. Oh, Monique, oh, you think it's, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> For her, I would add one zero to the price. <laughs> oh, Stanley, Jay, Jet, sign it and send it to me. Okay, right away. <laughs> Okay, now I'm watching here because we know here you can see this shadow. There is, she has that's the problem that definitely if I do that, I'm gonna make her look older. This oh, I can resist myself. It's a little bit of a light here, a little bit. That's the problem with those little bit, these little things. Change the person. I still have eight minutes, eight minutes.
Yes, all Hollywood publicity, publicity for yes, yes. I mean, I just love those. I gotta look carefully for to find some of with some good lighting, good shadows. Okay, can you see it now some greens, the, the greens I apply it? I keep a little bit warmer here with red, red. You can see this color here, it's the same color here. Yes, I added more warm here. And this, the idea about this portion to be grayer is always just to make it receive that, okay? Because it's something that is turning, it's the same here. And we're gonna try to pay attention to that, to how the colors, uh, how to change the colors when we want something to pop up or reset. Even when we paint a portrait, that this, this the visual perspective is not that much, but it is, it, uh, still there is a little bit that we can consider in order to make our paintings a little bit better. Okay, I think. You know, here I'm just gonna make it this here because I don't wanna just paint anymore. Wow. Leo, 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 that's not my, 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 my son. I'm calling him because he's about to go out and he always uh, forget. Sometimes he forgets to use a mask. Do you have a Okay. I just asked, asked him about his as a mask. Okay, I think that's it. Perfect timing. The foot is here, and I just finished. Okay, that's it. 
Sí. ¿Hay una tarjeta de Mastercard? No, ¿qué pasó? La, 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 la,